So I'm going to drop some pasta. Uh, any kind of a spaghetti, fettuccine, we're going to use linguine. Orzo pasta would be nice too. And now they have this new quick cooking pasta that cooks in less than like five minutes. So if you need to get dinner on the table in a hurry, that would be great too. How are you doing, Anne? Good. And the dog? Wonderful. Good. It's, you know, the one fun thing about coming back to work is it's been a while. We haven't all been together, the whole gang. So Greg, the director, and Abby is back from maternity leave, and her beautiful baby Hudson. And I know that was hard to come back, but she was just so excited to work with me again that it made yeah. it all better. <laughs> so I'm going to heat a little olive oil in our nice big skillet here. Oh, I did not salt my water. I've got the little little bit of the case of the Mondays. Yeah, always season your uh, pasta water with a little bit of salt. It's really the only chance to get in there and give it some good flavor. All right, so I've got about a cup of onion, finely diced. I'm going to start sauteing that in the oil. Have you been reading the book club book? I sure hope you have. It is fantastic. I am loving it. Still have about quarter of the book left. It's called Half Broke Horses by Jeanette Wall. And you've still got plenty of time to read this because actually our book club meeting isn't until next week. And this is a pretty quick read. I mean, you could get it done in a few days for sure. It's a page turner. Um, it's fantastic. So we hope you'll join us next week at La Java. We're going to La Java in Suamico, a really great place. They're going to provide snacks so everybody can get a coffee and We'll talk about the book. It's just going to be a really great night, so I hope to see you there. And then we'll also announce our next book club pick there. So call and make reservations or just stop by and join us. Um, it's Tuesday night, I believe, right, Abby? Okay, the 28th uh, is when it is, Tuesday night at La Java in Suamico. So uh, be there or be square. It's going to be great fun. It starts at 5.30. And if you've been to our book club before, you know how, how much fun they are. And if you haven't been, you need... You need to come. All right, I'm going to get to work and, and start cutting up some zucchini and um, picked up some of this wonderful yellow zucchini along with the green zucchini. I love that. Really nice to put on veggie and dip trays for the packer parties. Got the green and gold going on. Now, the one thing when it comes to um, using zucchini, especially if you get it at the farmer's market, really, even at the grocery store, it uh, tends to be a little bit sandy it can be so really wash and dry it well you don't want any of that sand or grit ending up in your recipe all right onion is starting to smell really really good and I've getting gotten lots of calls and, and emails about how's Levi doing well Levi our dog 13-year-old chocolate lab who we adopted from the shelter about six years ago is uh, well he's got a tumor um, but the doctor says he's doing great and he's feeling great and he's been actually having a wonderful summer uh, he's just slowing down a bit but uh, he's still with us and uh, loving the cooler weather I think we all are so that's our Levi update thanks for all the thoughts and prayers and we are just savoring every minute with him and he's doing really really good okay so I'm gonna get my zucchini in here start cooking that a little more oil and I've just chunked up the zucchini really like using the two different colors just this is such a colorful dish it's beautiful All right, I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We also have another big night out coming up. And these are a blast. We'll give you all the details in just a few minutes. But uh, basically, I think we could all use a, a new uh, fun big night out every once in a while. We go to local restaurants. They pull out all the stops. And we're actually headed to Bistro 42. Uh, just north of Sturgeon Bay in Carlsville. It's going to be a gourmet dinner paired with wines, and actually the chef is here, and we're actually going to be making and showing you some of the dishes that we'll be having. So please join us. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful evening, Sunday, September 16th. If you've been to our Big Night Outs before, 
you know what a great time they are. Okay, now I'm going to add my shrimp. I've got one pound of peeled and deveined shrimp. These are just, I just picked these up at festival, the frozen shrimp. I love buying the shrimp in, in a, the big two pound bags because then you can just take out what you need. We actually had this for dinner last night. Thaws really quickly. I just uh, run it under uh, cool water in a colander in the sink and it thaws out in minutes. So it's, it's great to have on hand in your freezer. It's a real quick fix. Got some fresh garlic here. Turn up our heat. I don't want to overcook our pasta. Looking good. I want to have that al dente. Get to work on my garlic. Abby, we need some new pictures of Hudson. Can you get some of those so we can show people this week? He's so cute. He's getting so big. How old is he now? Three months on Friday? Wow, I can't believe it. So cute. Are you getting any sleep at all? Wow, she says he slept over six hours for a whole week straight. So good. He's round in the corner there. Next thing you know, you're going to be moving him into the college dorm. Seriously, I have no idea where the time went. All right, I'm going to add some garlic, fresh garlic. And you know the, the old rule, once the fresh garlic hits the pan, 30 seconds and keep it moving, move it, moving. You don't want to burn that garlic. Wow, does this smell good or what? I've been going to the farmer's market. So wonderful picking up some flowers and some of the other great things. Zucchini is fantastic. The tomatoes are just unbelievable. Speaking of the tomatoes, I've got these great cherry or grape tomatoes that we've just cut in half. See how this dish is just beautiful and very, very healthy. We've really tried to have a healthy summer in our house. A lot of exercise going on. Bob has been running a ton and Riley's been running and Ireland's been dancing. So. You know, when we're exercising, it's just nice to, you know, kind of stick with that whole theme. And instead of having burgers and fries, do something nice and light for dinner like this. But this has got such great flavor that it doesn't really feel like, you know, you're eating healthy. A little bit of oregano, which is a nice Greek flavor. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Just going to give it a bit of heat. Some fresh lemon juice. And this dish is almost done. And you can do some, just to kind of give it a nice sauce besides the lemon juice, we're going to do three quarters of a cup of dry white wine. And if you don't want to do wine, you could do chicken stock. And now I'm going to drain our pasta. And love getting the wine in these little bottles because you can put this, the cap on them. Uh, you don't have to buy real expensive bottles of wine when you're cooking. So this makes a nice light kind of a lemon wine sauce. All right, let's go drain our pasta. And we'll get this dish ready to plate. We're going to add our pasta to the skillet. I'm using linguine, but really any type of pasta would work here. Just want to coat that with the sauce. I know, doesn't that look and smell delicious? And it's really a quick cook. You can get this for people who say, I don't have time to make dinner. I don't know how you do it, Amy. You know, um, seafood, quick, quick, quick. Um, usually quicker to cook than even chicken. Pasta, great to have on hand in your pantry. And you can really get this uh, on the table in minutes. You'd pay big bucks for something like this at a restaurant. Make it at home. Just chopping up some parsley to finish off the dish. And we also got some feta cheese. Just a little dab will do you. And it's, you can actually serve it right from the skillet. A big delicious salad would be wonderful with this. 
that you can take this skillet and bring it right to the table. It's that pretty. Or you can just plate it up individually. It's up to you. But there you go. It's my Greek pasta skillet. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area of Festival of Foods.